Ready to plan websites like a pro? Welcome to AI Site Planner, your ultimate tool for streamlining websites planning from brief to sitemap to wireframe automatically. So whether you're a freelancer, work at an agency, or a business owner, AI Site Planner takes the guesswork out of structuring websites, helping you work faster and more efficiently. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm excited to show you how AI Site Planner can help you create structured project briefs in minutes, saving you time, reducing errors, and making client collaboration pleasant and professional. So in this video series, we're going to start with the first and most important step, creating a professional project brief. And then in the next videos, we're going to take that brief and turn it into a sitemap and finally a wireframe ready for design. All right, let's jump in and get started with creating a brief. A strong project brief sets the foundation for a successful website by defining goals, structure, and key requirements, keeping you and your clients aligned from day one. But creating a detailed brief from scratch takes a lot of time, and missing key details can lead to delays and miscommunication. So let's go over the different ways AI Site Planner helps you generate a clear, effective project brief. So first up, visit planner.elementor.com to get started. There are three ways to generate a project brief. Answering key questions in the AI chat, uploading an existing document, or through a live client meeting with the AI note taker. I'm gonna start talking about the AI chat and then the upload option, and then a little bit later, I'll show you the AI note taker in just a moment. So let's take a look at the AI chat. It's built to guide you through structured questions to create a professional brief. It supports multilingual support, so you can always work in the language of your choice, and you get the output also in that language. It's really amazing. Here in the top left, we have the chat where you can answer questions and chat with the AI assistant to fine tune details needed for the brief. If you have an existing brief, you can just go on right ahead, click the paperclip icon to select your brief document you'd like to upload. Site Planner will extract the key details and create an initial brief for you to work on. All right, so in the top right, we can see our brief strength and you'll notice that this is gonna change throughout the process of answering questions. And if you just wanna click on that little tooltip there, it gives you a short breakdown of what a good brief should include. That includes background about your business and the brand, goals for the site, and the pages or sections you wanna include. Also, remember, the more input you provide, the better results. All right, I'll go ahead and answer the first question. So for this demo, I'm gonna create a brief for a website project I'm working on for a family-owned coffee called Brew Horizon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that to the answer in the first question. What's the site's name? Brew Horizon. And as you can see, the brief summary is being generated while you answer the questions. So currently it's a weak brief, but let's keep going. So let's continue. Next, I'll provide the business type. It's a family owned coffee looking to sell organic and ethically sourced coffee beans online. So now I'll give some details on what Brew Horizon plans to showcase and accomplish through the website. By the way, here down below are some suggestions to get you going. So you can hover over these three options and anytime click one of those. And if anytime you need more guidance on answering a question, you can click the light bulb like so. Okay, great. So now that I got a direction, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. Brew Horizon wants to sell coffee online, educate customers on brewing methods, and give them an option to subscribe to the blog. Cool. Okay, so now that I have a basic brief, I'll go ahead and click to see what's missing to make it better. Okay, so I need to add the pages my client wants. Brew Horizon offers visitors to browse and buy coffee beans, brewing gear, and gift sets. They can also sign up for the monthly coffee deliveries with flexible options as well as visit the coffee blog and get brewing trips and more. The website should include the following pages, a home, shop, subscription, blog, about us, contact. I'll also specify the primary goals for the website. So for the primary language, I'll select English, just like so. And for the core features and functionalities, I'll mention that it needs an e-commerce functionality to browse and buy the coffee beans, brewing gear, and the gift sets. The contact page should have a simple form and the physical store location would be ideal with links to their social media. All 
All right, so next I'm gonna provide some details about the communication style and brand personality. When I met with a client, I got these details before. So I'll copy and paste it here, but as you can see, it's quite a detailed brief since the client gave some suggestions for their vision, including colors, communication style, and more. All right, let's see how this updates the brief summary and affects the brief strengths. Great, it looks really good. And as you can see, the brief becomes much better as we go along. So you can choose now to create your website. And if you'd like to edit your brief, you can hover right next to the relevant part of the brief and click reply. For example, I could elaborate on the functionality and mention that my client also wants three different blog categories like brewing tips, guides, and food pairing. And as you can see, the feature section is updated accordingly. So now just before I continue, let's take a look at another option. We have the AI note taker. So the AI note taker is an amazing feature. It will join, transcribe and summarize your session. So Google Meet currently supports 17 languages, including English, Spanish, German, Hindi, and more and more. For the full list, visit the FAQ section listed at the bottom of the webpage, elementor.com backslash AI hyphen site hyphen planner. All right, so click to invite the AI note taker. you're gonna get a confirmation email. So have your meeting with your client and make sure to admit the note taker. So in order to make sure you get a good brief, just talk naturally with your client about their goals, their audience, the key features, their wants, their needs. Make sure you're clear on the main pages, the content and structure from the start. The more details you get up front, the better the brief and the easier it is to create a sitemap and wireframe that fits their needs. All right, so when you're done, click to end the meeting, check your email, click to view the meeting details, and there's an option to download the script, or you can just continue to the brief. So I'm gonna click to continue, and as you can see, the brief summary is already ready and waiting. It's generated based on the meeting details I just had with my client. All right, so currently the brief is already good. Now feel free to use the chat to fine tune it and make it even better. When you're ready, click use this brief here in the top right corner. All right, so feel free to continue answering the questions to refine the brief even further. Reaching the strong status is pretty satisfying. So once you choose Create Website, AI Site Planner automatically generates a structured sitemap for you. You'll see the entire website layout with each page broken down into the key sections along with a written description of its purpose and content. You can fine tune it and adjust it before moving on to the next stage, wireframing which gives you a clear visual representation of your site structure ready for design. All right, so in the next video, I'm gonna walk you through the sitemap in detail, exploring all the options available. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining. <laughs>